Beautiful, breathable gas. We have way more food than we need. How is that possible? <laughs> this food like laying on the ground all over the place. We have so much food, it's ridiculous. Let me see. Uh, Lice loaf, obviously we have tons of that mush fry. Can we make anything? Can we cook something else? Omelets, cook, cook an omelet, dude. <laughs> Frost bun, hell yeah. Sleet wheat. We haven't really created a farming area uh, for anything else, so. Uh, when it comes more idle, you ever think of putting storage beyond the suit checkpoints? Maybe, yeah. Hatchling egg, no, we'll do nothing on this one. It is kind of a bitch, right? Because they're coming over here trying to get resources and they really can't. This is going to be a problem too, actually. Are they done with this? Oh, they're so close. But look at everything is melting. Look, everything is melting. Almost done here. So close. All I need is for them just to, just to zap these real quick. Then I can see what's underneath. I really hope it's not like a... I hope it's not anything that puts out hot water or something because then it just... If, if it's activated, which it won't be because we're just taking a little chunk out here, then it would just destroy the whole biome. Like it would instantly just melt. Oh, here we go. Okay, so building flooded. Wow, this whole thing is flooded. That was fast. Um, shit. Not <laughs> natural hot spring. No, not at all. Too much liquid. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I think we should probably go ahead and open this up and let it drain. I think it's going to be our only option right now and just let it go out into space. Just go to space. But also finish these two pipes, goddammit. What is, uh, what is flooded? Uh, awaiting repair. Oh, the radiant pipe is awaiting repair. The... What is the temperature of the water here? 51 degrees. 49 degrees. The water come out. Wow, the water is really cool now. What happened? Did this thing all of a sudden start working? What the f Why? Is the water coming? Am I pumping cold water in it now? No, the water is still... Well, it's 98 degrees. Actually, that's actually a lot cooler than... Oh, we're getting down towards the bottom of this. This water is still pretty hot. Okay, so hold on a second. No, there's something wrong here. So the water comes out of here at 100 and what? 154 degrees. Uh, you think the water is doing it? Let me see. So 154 degrees, still 154 degrees, coming over here, 147 degrees, it's probably mixed with some of this, which is a little bit cooler, 91 degrees, so yeah, that makes sense. 147, 146, 146, this is all insulated, by the way, so it shouldn't change that much in temperature. 142, 143, 144, and then all of a sudden, 54. That's polluted water. How did polluted water get into my... <gasps> Hold on a second. Where does this go? Oh my god. Have I been feeding the wrong thing? I have this drain right here. Have I always been feeding it into the line? Have I, 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 did I do that like a, like and not think? <laughs> because it's feeding polluted... Oh yeah, because before it was all clean water. That's right, it was all clean water before, so... That makes perfect sense that, you know, now, yeah, now it's a problem because it's, uh, here, beat that up real quick. There we go. Um, so now it's feeding dirty water in there. The thing is that dirty water is also very, uh, cold. So maybe that is aiding in its, uh, cooling? Let me see. Like I said, the water's still coming in at 143 degrees. So it's still pretty hot. And then by the time it hits over here, it's 52 degrees. So that's pretty good. I almost wonder if I really even need to run the pipe all the way around the thing, but I, I think I do. I mean, yeah, look, look how hot it is right here. So yes, I still do. Wow, weird. What did he do the last episode, YouTube viewers? Leave your comments down below. <laughs> oh, era man, hooking it up. Thanks, man. <laughs> the YouTube hype man. Uh, doing it right, though. Uh, yeah, this would be a problem overall. This is going to be bad. Not on floor. Oh, good, they could clean this. Okay, good. So I could get it done. Let's see, once I once this these two pipes are finished, unreachable. That's not true. 
Oh, is this done? Oh, what is it? Leaky oil fissure? What is... I know what an oil fissure is, but what is a leaky oil fissure? Does that mean it just slowly drips water? I don't know. Oh, they finished it. Finished. One with the leg. Thanks! Alright, let's see. So the water going all the way around is coming out at what? 86 degrees. That is... 54. Oh, it's, it's, it's a mix right now. If I put a couple pieces of radiance kind of scattered throughout, this I could get this temperature down. And then look, we're out, we're also gonna we also piping some through here, which is fine. And it's coming out at 66 degrees. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just replace a couple of pieces with radium pipe. Uh, like maybe in the corners or something. Oh, actually, no, cancel that. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, no, let's put it right next to the wheeze warts. That makes a lot more sense, actually. Yeah, wheeze warts. Every time I pass the wheeze wart, we'll go one, two, three. And then there's a wheeze wart right over... Oh, that one actually uprooted itself. Yikes. <laughs> uh, we'll just run a couple, like, out here and open. Yeah, boy, that's a tough one. Well, let's do the first one here. There's this three pipes next to a wheeze wart. We'll see what that does. Wheeze wart just straight up died. Slowly losing value over time, polluting the surrounding... Yeah, I don't know. Um... Well, let me see. Let's get this... Oh, they're working on it right now. Okay, good. So before you build it, before you build it, let's see. So water's coming out on this side at 115, 115, 92, 115, 115. So about 115 fluctuating wildly. Now it's 87, 81, 75, 74, 67, 66, 50, 54. What a difference just a couple pieces of radium pipe makes. And then we come over here. And we're at 69, 64, 63, 58, 57, 40, 47, 51. Beautiful. And we're now spreading the uh, the energy transfer across a good chunk of the biome here. And if we need to expand it even farther and take it out here to all of this wildness, which is a lot. And also, I should note that we could see so much more. Iron ore. Hold on a second. Yeah, let's, let's hunt for metal. Fuck. Okay, so just iron ore. <laughs> just. Great. And we still don't know what's in here. Let's go ahead and uh, submit a bioscan. So we'll get to that in a moment. And also this one over here, which... Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I, I haven't been in there yet. But there's another room right here. That I should... Have these guys... Oh, unknown. Oh, I can't actually go through there. Oh! Ooh, I have to go all the way over that nasty shit. All right, well, we're never going to see what that is. <laughs> uh, yeah, so a leaky oil fisher. You know what? Give me a moment here while they're working on... Uh-oh. What's wrong? Is it too cold? Why is it taking damage? It's not too cold. It doesn't say... I wonder if it's because it's made of sedimentary rock that it actually has a higher freeze point or something. Let me see. Melting point. Oh, God, the melting point doesn't help me. Uh, the temperature is 13.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Negative 10 degrees Celsius. Huh. I wonder if the pipe material is preventing it from... Um... Well, let's see. Liquid pipe. Igneous rock. What did I make it out of? Sandstone or something? Sedimentary rock. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's one of those uh, neural vacillator things. So we'll go, we'll throw someone in that in a minute. But first, sedimentary rock. Thermally reactive. What if I should swap it out for a different type of material? I don't have like a ton of stuff to really make. Uh, sedimentary rock. I think they have an overheat temperature, which is great, but why are they taking damage? Is it really just cool? It's too cold. Even the aluminum pipes are uh, taking damage. 
Yeah, 13 degrees Fahrenheit, but the water inside of it is not. That's that's the that's the thing that I'm confused about. Is that the uh, the liquid pipe contents are fine. The outside is is freezing. But that shouldn't matter. Like, are you telling me that sedimentary rock breaks down by itself below a certain temperature? That's what it looks like it's doing. Um, I understand if the water was too cold, that makes sense. You know, the water freezes, pipes crack, uh, pipes burst. Let me go and turn that off real quick. Options, games, and then... Uh, Oh, these ones over here have been messed up, too. Aluminum. Maybe aluminum is... I don't, I don't know what the... Like, the lowest... The, the temperature low that these things can withstand. And that's a problem. Boom, baby! Brother Fern! Welcome back! What up? Bloop, see? Bloop, 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 bloop. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm lost. I'm lost because it doesn't make sense as to why. But if you tell me that it's just the way that that oxidizer cleaner works, where if the outside temperature is too cold and the pipes will burst, and I don't consider 13 degrees Fahrenheit to be that cold, uh, not for aluminum pipes. Then you're talking like any piece of aluminum is just gonna burst, like break uh, at 13 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not true. Think of like a can of soda. Obviously, the liquid inside, if it was too cold, 13 degrees, it would burst the can. Uh, but no. Yeah, there's something up. I'm going to let it go. And we'll see. This is weird. Oh, this is also messing up here. Why is this taking damage? Why is that taking damage? This is not too hot or too cold. Yeah, this is hardly 100 degrees, nothing. I don't really have an issue with pipes if the contents are above temp, but I also don't reduce the flow volume. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I, I have a reduced flow volume. I wonder if I should just pump all of the water through and just let it just work itself out. I mean, look, this is a hot spot right here. I mean, this is doing a good. This is actually staying cool. I don't know, man. I'm, uh. I'm lost. Uh, let's see. Rust. I don't know what to do with rust, but we'll eventually figure something out. Let's find something else to research. How about glass blowing? Hmm. Maybe increase the volume? Uh, where can I. We do have plenty of space here, so maybe, yeah, maybe we could just increase the volume over here. Oh, hey, look, we cleaned everything up. Look at that. Beautiful. That's pretty good. Anyway, so yeah, let me, uh, let me go ahead and increase this by a bit. We'll make this, um, 1,200, so it's a pretty significant increase. Did that take? No, it did not. 1,200, enter. So that'll start pumping out big balls, bigger balls. There they go. Balls are bigger now. And they're gonna come through. And they're gonna get pumped through the system here, so we should see more. Pressure can affect freezing points. Well, what's the pressure in here? Pressure in here is fine. What's this? Thanks. Uh, yeah, look, look, here we go, here we go. So repair Aaron. Let me see what it says. So that it tells you. Building uh, received damage from pipe contents becoming too cold. Even though I don't believe it. 44 degrees, 66 degrees. Let's let's do this. Let's just replace one of the pipes here with just regular pipes, right? That way we lessen even more so the amount of 
exposure the radi- the, the liquids have to the environment here. What is the water coming out at? Is it coming out at, uh... Yeah, it's coming out at 47 degrees. It's coming in here, what? At 114. So we do need to have it open. Otherwise, it's probably gonna stay, you know, cool all the way to the end. But you know what? You know, fuck it. Let's just go ahead. This is gonna eliminate this. This little chunk of, um... Of pipe here. And we'll make that. Come on, get out of there. We'll make this the uh, priority here. There we go. God damn it. I was gonna make it. Yeah, emergency. Oh, they're getting on it. That's where it go. Alright, leaky oil fissure. Oxygen not included, leaky oil fissure. Let's see. Leaky oil fissure, here we go. Found one, boxed it up, uncapped it. Oil is 560 degrees Fahrenheit. So guess what? We ain't touching it. So now the question is, is that gonna solve our problem? Look, we don't have any more issues of freezing anywhere. The water coming out is still a little warm. 97 degrees, 85 degrees, coming back, it's 90 degrees. I mean, that's totally fine. 90 degrees is fine. Yeah. Doesn't have to be cooler. How's this doing? Oh, good. We actually didn't fill this up. Hey. Uh, wait, what was your stage name? I missed it. <laughs> Might be a good thing. Uh, oh, are we getting close to done? Oh, snap. Let's just do a big, let's do a big haul. We'll go all the way uh, to here. I'll keep him busy for a good long while. Leaky Oil Fisher. Oh my god. That's a good name, dude. <laughs> Classy. <laughs> mm. uh, oh, you know what? Since I increased the pressure over here, I wonder if we're going to eventually wanna run out of water through this system. Through our uh, bathroom system. Because it's going to continue emptying out here. And what is this at? 44, uh, yeah, it is gonna slowly, or faster than we're actually using it. Now might be the time to patch in the, these other pipes. These dirty water pipes, patch that in to the water sieve, and then we'll just control it on this side. Instead of having it drop down here, what's the temperature of this water? 115 degrees? That's fine. Oh, we're actually gonna run out of water here. This thing is dormant still, huh? Well, shit. Uh, wow, we're actually gonna run- Oh, you know what? Never mind. I forgot we had this whole thing over here. The problem is that it's down here. Lower the flow rate again. Yeah, well, I guess we're not filling this up. Yeah, I guess not a bad idea. Because we're not freezing the pipes. It, that was purely, I think, the radiated pipe that was just somehow cooling it. And I think, like you said, uh, that the um, if the environment is too cool, then it will have a negative impact on this. I don't know. But are we done in this room? Can I go ahead and seal it up? Ooh, what is that? Ethanol. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen a pool of ethanol in uh, Don't Starve. I know it exists, just never seen it. New printables are available. Oops. Oops. Thimble reed seed. Mooch. <laughs> ethanol. <laughs> it didn't even cross my mind. <laughs> Y'all are like, get the straws! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, shit. Okay, so... Maybe once this is empty, then we move this whole construction here, down here, uh... Like, right across here, maybe? 
and we start to take some of this and then we'll, we'll open it up some more that we have like a huge pool to work with and then in doing that we can seal this up because right now we're having a very very slow energy exchange between this all this hot ass water here and you know this area over here that's already gonna generate heat because of the machinery and everything but we don't want it to to be influenced by anything external, right? That's why I have double layer of insulation here. Try to do this part right. This is the part I fucked up on my other save it's because I was putting too much, uh, uh, I wasn't putting enough, um, I wasn't enclosing the base in insulation like I should have been. I did that way, way late, like 700 or something like that. Like up here, you see how this is all like red and everything. Like I, I'm not gonna beat up that abyss light because that abyss light's gonna be a natural insulate insulator for hundreds of cycles, easily hundreds of cycles. Oh, they're cruising through it, cruising through it. Let me see where they at. Nice. All this new stuff. I don't even know. I don't know how to use rocketry shit. <laughs> Must be cold if it hasn't evaporated. Yeah, what is it at? Let me see. Uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I wonder if this is worth it now. Let me, uh, let me just snip this real quick. Okay. There we go. This will kill the uh, power usage here. So you should we should see this uh, very quickly start to uh, cool off. And then we're just going to say, yeah, now we're sending all that heat down here. So we're going to see more heat build up down here. But we should see it cool as it comes across over here. 100 degrees. 100 degrees is still reasonable. Thermal plate. I haven't put I haven't built a single thermal plate, actually. But look at this guy. This guy's chilling now. Negative 50, negative 60. Oh my god. So it really can get cold. I wonder if I should put just one piece of radiant pipe right here. Just one. Just one. Let's just see what happens. Just right, right across, like right here. Oh wait, hold on a second. Let's make it with the uh, highly thermo thermoreactive. There we go. So. There you go. Or maybe that's two, I think. That's two. That's fine. We'll just do one. I'm scared. I'm scared to do two. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. So the water goes in at what? Goes in at 144 degrees. Comes out the other side at 100 degrees. It loses 50 degrees from this one thing. Now, how's it do up here? Wow, that dropped fast. I wonder if that's going to introduce damage now. Nope. Looks like we're good. And this is, uh, it's already, look, it's already, it's already actually warmed up because of the heat exchange here. But I wonder if there's a balance that it's going to find here. I can't imagine that one single pipe is actually going to destroy this, uh, this whole thing. And actually, you know what? Let me get some of this metal back. Uh, let's, let me see. Yeah, let's get all this back. Them's good resources. Why is this like this? Water's slowly getting low. It's going to take a good while still, though. Although, I wonder if we should make the move before this thing starts going up. Or, or, let's deconstruct this. Let's deconstruct this, and then what we'll do is we'll put a, uh, a bigger door there. We'll make it out of something that's not going to succumb to the heat, which is, it looks like we've done a lot of action. High thermal connectivity. Uh, I guess make it out of gold. Yeah, it's gonna be gold. So put a gold door, like right here, that'll just stop the water, and then when we're ready to, uh... But once this water's empty here, and we moved everything down one step, because I have a feeling that this thing's gonna actually wake up before we get a chance to, uh, move all this stuff down. And I, I want to do it without building atmospheric suits for them, but I don't know if that's gonna really happen. Oh, I know why there was polluted water in there, is because it was feeding it polluted water for a minute. Oh, God. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, it's green. Okay, good. So it's maintaining. And what's our overall water temperature coming at? Wow, this whole thing's such a project. 89 degrees. Perfect. That's perfect. On my list. On my, on my list of things to do today. 
I had a uh, take care of ice biome. And guess what? What? We did it. We did storage. Good. We mined the northern iron uh, and we explored west. Uh, the West, and we're doing research right now. So I cross that out. Wow, we did. We've done everything that I wanted to do today. What I thought? <laughs> Cold doors. Question is, is someone going to come over here and take care of it <laughs> anytime soon? Oh wait, this door is actually locked. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's because these dudes are coming down here and they're getting like they're burning themselves up. Everything's done. Time to figure out the next project. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Gold. So. Oh, you know what? Let's build a half manual lock. That way we could trickle the water in when we're ready. So we'll put a. And then also, this also helps too because we could build a half manual lock there. And then we can build a. Will that work? Let's build it. Tile. This should work fine. So here and here, and then we'll put a little half lock, half door here. Yeah. Why? Like, what, see, like, why do they do that? Why do they do that? Oh, you know what? They're cleaning up. That's what they're doing. Oh, it's so hot. No shit. <laughs> Can they mop this up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing if they're just gonna just 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 finish cleaning this up, guys. Let's just mop it up. No, that system brings balance to our entire liquid recycling system. You know what, though, we don't need this. We do, we don't we'll just turn off. Uh, we probably don't need either one of them, honestly. What does our oxygen generation look like? Let me see. Yeah, our oxygen generation is fantastic right now. Uh, oxygen uh, electrolyzer, oxygen diffuser. Yeah, so we just cut out. Oh, you know what? Just by cutting out this one, it looks like we're probably going to have a perfect balance because it's 65 per. If we're if we're looking at this, like 67 point or 66.5 per um, diffuser. So if we kill one. Then that's gonna balance our uh, our overall stats out. Cause like 67, 55, 60. Wow, we're gonna have like a perfect balance of oxygen. Pathing down because the drains don't have uh, gaps. What do you mean? Path uh, no, they're going out there because they're picking up resources. There's resources all over the ground here, so they're picking it up. What is it, like sedimentary rock, abyss light, igneous rock, stuff like that. So yeah, dormant. So this is perfect. So then we just open this up and then and then that's it. So we'll make that like a nine. Good, this will buy us some time uh, to come down here and start to grab some of this liquid. Which, you know what, now that I think about it, I think I'd have to give them suits anyways. Because they can't get down here and build without burning themselves with this water. 160 degrees? They're gonna have scalding burns all over the place. <sighs> Shit. That sucks. Why is there fucking lice loaf down here? Or meal lice. Starvation. Who's starving? Corey is. Why are you starving? What's your schedule look like, guy? Let me see. Donis has plenty of downtime. He's night shift, so he's gonna go eat right now, isn't he? Yes, he is. Weird. Long commutes. Hmm, that's gonna be a thing. Building lacks resources. Killing exosuit forage, electric grill. Okay, well we don't... The electric grill thing's always gonna be a problem. Barbecue, let's go and make that. When you, <laughs> you've been on for uh, a minute. I think you came on after Buffy um, as part of the night shift. It is cold in here. Who's that? David, what up? Let me turn this off. How you been, dude? Off, I said. Is that off? I think it's off. Boop. Nighttime, bath time, only one spot. Oh, shit. Let me see. Night shift. Oh yeah, I guess I only gave them. Hold up, morning time. Uh, let's see, bat downtime, bat time. Morning shift has it easy. Look at that. Let's go ahead and give that. We'll go one more bat time. There we go. Nobody here is morning shift. That's perfect. Yeah, this this will work. This will work. Morning shift. Martha is the only one that has kind of a funky schedule where he has downtime and then he goes take a bat. Oh no, actually no. This is this is like a reg. This is like a regular workday for me. 
Look at that. Wake up early in the morning, do work, and then downtime, family time, and then bath time, and then you go to sleep. Look at that. It's like a real schedule. I guess this works too for folks, right? The night shift stuff. Sounds good to me. Yeah, there you go. This is normal, right? Downtime and then bath in the morning. Go to sleep and dirtying up your sheets with your filth. Wow, this is a lot of research needs to get done to get here. Holy shit. Oh, we're actually not going to get all the way through because we need some other machine. What is this? Interstellar. Oh, we need a virtual planetarium. Okay, well, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I guess I did know that. I just didn't remember. Uh, Yeah, well, we'll get there. <laughs> Eventually. We're doing good. Working. Might have to move in a few months. Otherwise, Peachy headed out to San Fran for a day uh, end of the month. How you doing? Thank you for the... Of course. Of course, Christmas card. Uh, what are you doing in San Francisco at the end of the month? And when? If there's if our schedule's aligned, you should uh, uh, come by, dude. Oh, what, why is this having a problem? Atmosphere. What's wrong with the atmosphere? Probably no uh, carbon dioxide. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What do we got here? Busted pipe. Is that what that is? Radiant pipe. Yep. So, that's not gonna work. 29th Ubisoft. Oh, shit. Alright, so we have to replace this pipe. Yeah, man, hit, hit us up. Okay, so that'll, that'll solve that problem, I think. The water was fine. 88 degrees. Feels a little bit warmer, but that's fine, yeah. Planetarium. That's the place that everybody went to Planetarium as a kid, right? That was like your one of your first uh what is it? Um field trip things. You're just doing like a review or something, like a press event or something at, at Ubisoft? Is that it? A yearly sacrifice. <laughs> press event. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so I guess I guess they're gonna go through and do whatever research they can do on all of these, and then we'll build a planetarium uh, later. I guess tomorrow, me. Yeah, I'm surprised how long it's taking to get this liquid off. I mean, like this is not a lot of liquid. I mean, it is, but it's also not. Like, we're taking such small batches, we're 1800 per pull, and this, there's, uh, wait, wait, what is this, 1800 grams? Oh, yeah, it's gonna take a while, never mind. This body of liquid is 390 kilograms. I mean, it's, it's going down at a pretty, pretty significant rate, so we are gonna run out, but that's gonna take probably another 30 cycles or so before that actually runs out. Um, the amount of stuff in it now is crazy! Oh, yeah. I just can't get away from this game. Like... Yeah, I mean, if you if, if you're gonna watch if you're gonna watch my stream, you just have to get used to occasionally having to revisit some of these old ass games and play obsessively. <laughs> it's just you can't you can't not man. I make sure there's no like hidden liquids anywhere. Every once in a while, a puddle gets away from you. No, actually, we kept pretty clean. Look at that, huh? Except for this down here. This whole, this everything over here is a mess. Ah, oh, pipe's breaking again. I'm not gonna worry about it. A couple of pieces here and there, it's fine. Like I'm waiting for another Don't Starve series later this year. <laughs> That's gonna happen. <laughs> That's always a guarantee. We'll probably next time we'll do it on PC just to get some of that, uh, you get some mods or something going for fun. The speed run, Oxygen Included. I, you know, I bet people can actually complete quite a few things in Oxygen Included uh, in a short period of time. Building multiple, we've done that before. Like, built multiple uh, um, uh, supercomputers and computers and research stations and everything and just trying to build things out as quickly as possible. How's our hydrogen? Good. Hydrogen up here is good. Not intended, but... The punishment system will return. Yes, it will return. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Uh, I was actually thinking of... Oh, look at that. We have so much iron ore now, I could go ahead and build the fireman's pole. Where can I put it? Can I go past this on a fireman's pole, I wonder? 
Huh. I think that this should be the first spot we put a fireman's pole from here to there. But how much resource? I mean, we'll make like a one. This is 31,000, basically 32,000. So let's start from like here. Twenty-seven thousand. Wow! So that that one pole uses a ton, ton of resources. God, it's such a fast way for them to move around. But they're not. There's this is not a problem area. So if I have so much iron ore, what can I do? Ceramic to sand, poke a shell mold to lime. Whoa! Sure, I have one unit. Make one of those. Eggshell to lime. Sure. Uh, let's see, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, what, ten? Maybe we'll do it. Eggshell five keys out of forty-eight, so we'll do ten. To cover it all. Uh, gold amalgam to gold, granite to sand, iron ore to iron. Uh, how much iron ore do we have? We just saw it. What is this? Okay. Um, iron ore thirty-two tons. So yeah, let's go ahead and convert like a lot of that over to just regular iron because I think we could build I don't know actually I don't want to say because I don't know <laughs> so let's go ahead and do what is it 100 keys 32 times let's do 100 oh I can't let's do 99 and then we'll uh, see how much how much damage that does we have plenty of iron throughout the entire place here I mean we're not we're definitely not short on iron for sure I mean all the metal we have is iron ore right so yeah Good. We're doing so well on food, we're doing so well on everything else, I think it's time to go ahead and introduce a couple more dupes. I want to figure out where to put them first, though. So I put them down here. Right above this. Let me see, do I have the use blueprint? Oh, good, that's still intact. Um... I could technically put it here if I rem if I move the some of that center stuff out of the way. You know, create just kind of a little walkway there, which probably not a bad idea. This would be a good spot for it. So how about this? We'll wait. We'll wait until this is uh, they're done doing this, which is going to probably not take them too long, and then um, we'll speed things up a little bit. Then we'll come back. We'll add another dupe. A Dracula egg or, or sandstone. Oh my god. See, night owl, irritable bowel, bathroom use speed, decreased strength, binge eater, oh, ugly baby. cry. Boom! Who's that? Nitsut! What up? Thank you so much. Thank you, Nitsut. Appreciate that. Hey, man, did you see that? You see, I was, I've been making uh, little, uh, little circuit thingies. ESP 28266 little uh, Wi Fi controllable, like Arduino type systems. Uh, I've been, I'm just proud of it, man. That's all. I just wanted to say it because I know you're into that stuff too, kind of. So thanks. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, making little LED controllers uh, out of like a, a ESP8266 and also a, hold on a second, decor morale, decorating errands, uh, sparkles. Maybe we'll go ahead and actually add somebody. This is going to be a hug shot. We'll just make them sleep on the floor for now. We'll be fine. We have plenty of food, so. Um, and then I'm going through like a log, uh, it was a logic level shifter. So that way it has better control over the LEDs. LEDs have like a range of like 1.1 volts to 3.5 or something like that. So you have to like shift the the voltage of the thing up. So that way it registers whether it's a one or a zero. Uh, I hardly understand it, but I understand it enough to know that I needed that thing. <laughs> yeah, it looks, it's really cool. I have like, I have like, a, I have one, two, three, four, I have five of them now. So I just, you just plug them in, you know, power and then plug in the LEDs and then boom, like. Now I can control them over the Wi-Fi. Well, I have expertise because I don't really work with microelectronics. Well, it's out of my expertise too. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's neat. God, there's so much polluted water over here. It's just falling off into space. I guess. Or I guess I've been mopping it up constantly. One of the two. Is this thing going yet? Nope. This thing dormant now? Idle, okay. Missing research station. That's a weird thing to say. Oh, oh yes, that's right, that's right. Because of the uh, thing. Why is Lindsay starving? 
She's gonna go eat right now. Uh, cool. So we finished. We still have some advanced research to do, so they'll still do that. Yeah, it looks like I can do the advanced research for everything. So we've actually maxed out all the research we need for all the basic stuff. This is all the hyper advanced shit now. So solid fuel combustion, hydrocarbon combustion, cryofuel combustion, solid cargo, liquid and gas cargo, unique cargo. I'm excited to get to, to get to the point where we're actually going to start using that. Um, oh, you know what? Dude doesn't have a bed. Let me just at least give him a bed. <laughs> just ignoring him. Um, also, think he's a night owl. Let me see. Schedule. Hugshot. Oh, Hugshot is not. Okay, Hugshot just a regular dude. Just regular dude. All right, cool. Try to figure out how to turn uh, a Pi 4 into a steam machine for the living room. I think it needs Ethernet, though. Yeah, you would... At, well, you could go over Wi-Fi if... I guess if you use, like, Steam OS or something like that. Um, like, if it'll support the, the whatever wireless adapter is on that thing. Um, on the Raspberry Pi. But an Ethernet is going to just give you better quality, you know, signal overall. That's obvious. So that's the only damage we've really taken, guys. So this is uh, not bad. Wi-Fi to Apple TV works well enough, but on the Pi, it loses quality. Yeah, I have the same thing. I, I use Apple TV for uh, for my Steam Link now. Uh, I still have two Steam Links. I just don't really have a place to put them. I'll probably end up putting them like in the garage or something like that. So I can play games in the garage or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I want the option to. I don't really know if I'll use it. Um, God damn it, the constant starving thing is go eat, fuckers. I'll probably get better food sources. Later. That's a later thing. <laughs> 